Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. And so I just made it back to the ship and uh, yeah, she's loyal now. Uh, so, cycle appearance. Oh, there you go. Uh, slightly different. She's black now. Alright, so. Fuck, do we really want to talk to Jacob about his fucking shit? Fine. Let's spend, let's spend the beginning of this at least talking to people. Commander. I'm more interested in just talking for If a you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? You want to talk about what happened with your father? I don't really have anything to say about that, Commander. It's done with. Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. I know you and Miranda worked together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Anything that could affect the ship or the mission is my business. I need to know you two won't be a problem. Now you sound like Cerberus. It's not an issue. It was a long time ago. That's the end of it. I think that's enough talking. <laughs> I appreciate your interest, Commander. I appreciate you dropping it, too. I yelled at him. Loyal to mission undone. Shepard, how can I help? You got a minute later. Huh. Better. Think I've cured Joker's condition. Simple treatment would... No, 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 no. Would cause liver failure. Never mind. Start from scratch. Anything else? We'll be here if you need me. Alright. I guess, speaking of Joker, we should go talk to him. We're gonna go have a run at everybody and see what they're up to. Uh, uh, I need to run. Wish my bones weren't so brittle. I mean, hide the Joker. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all live and sexy and... Never mind. That's it for now. Whoops. Yes, Shepard. No. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. That's it for now. Commander. I assume everything is going. Good for now. Right. I assume everything Good for is now. Going. Yes, Shepard. Fuck. Alright. They don't have anything new to say. It's just when they start to talk to him. Why don't they have enough uh, to say there? Well, because I guess every time I talk to them, I'm always going like, You two, stop fucking clowning around. I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. What makes you say that? It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How can you fucking tell? Yes, Commander. She wears like a f she wears a mask or whatever the fuck. She's like Bane. You know? You can't possibly know. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. 
I am so proud of her, Shepard. You killed her for being what she was. And I would again. Do you realize that she went on the run? What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace. Due in no small part to you. Have any upgrades? Do you have any suggestions about using I have some done of what I can to increase our nice. exploration capability. Excellent camera angle. Anything beyond that is up to you. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events. Uh, one, we've done this one too. She carries many burdens. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I should I, go. Of course. All right, we'll bang. See ya. How are you two doing? All right. Well, we're not coming in here anymore. How are you doing? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Of course, Shepard. Join me. Still talking to Cole yet? Yes. It's still difficult, but he seems less angry. Will you hear my confession, Shepard? Lately, it feels like all our discussions are confessions. I've been introspective since I came aboard. That needs to change. When I married Erika, the Hanar let me leave their service to raise a family, but I had no other skills, so I freelanced. When Erika was killed, I pursued those responsible. Once I'd eliminated them, I had no goal. I accepted the Dantius Commission because I didn't know what else to do. I guess you're lucky we came along when we did. It was an intervention by the gods. I would have died in that penthouse. I would have fulfilled my contract. If Nasana's guards caught me afterwards, it would have been a good death. But someone else was pushing to reach the target, forcing me to move faster, challenging me. I had to reach her first. You're alive because I have wounded your pride? Pride is the line between a professional and a thug. Your mission gave me purpose, a cause to die for, a chance to atone. I was able to speak to my son again. I can leave my body in peace. We've got a long way to go before you can rest. I know. I'm prepared for whatever comes. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to Later. Talk. I'd like to consider. You mind if I ask you a Not at all. I've already upgraded uh, the Normandy's exploration. We're done. I shall return to my meditations. I can't get renegade actions. I know someone hated it when I did renegade actions on him because they're like, I like him. I like Thane. He's so deep. Actually, he's kind of interesting, but uh, fuck it. Let's talk to someone not interesting. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I wish your people had made the offer. I looked at your track record as you hunted Saren. I saw the choices you faced. You'd fit in fine here, and we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. I saw your faces years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian Creepers, even Husks to make your own army. The Husks were already dead. The Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. 
We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but... I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. My father got me the best jeans money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. I, I don't think you're wearing jeans, but okay. Does it always have to come back to your father's genetic tailoring? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. I can't admire your body or your mind? You give your father too much credit. Yeah, he gave you gifts. But you can be proud of what you've done with them. Oh. Thank you. Perhaps I wouldn't mind if you admired my body. Oh, Jesus Christ. What do I do? What do I do? You wouldn't, huh? I think I could live with it. It's only fair. You've had two years to look at me. And I was wearing less than you are. Shepard, wait. I, I need to think about this. Scared, Ms. Lawson? Cautious, Commander Shepard. But interested. Very interested. For now, I should... Work and think. I'll talk um, to you later. You know, I don't believe for a second that he was wearing less than she was. Hey, let's talk again. Commander, what can I do? You have you? a minute, Miranda. Actually, I'm a bit pressed at the moment. You're thinking oh, about our last chat. Now. All right, fine. I, I I know where to get booty. I can't believe the collectors were once Protheans. I always pictured Protheans. Right up here. The only booty I want. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? Oh, I yeah. Of some calibrations. I bet you Talk are. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Fucking love calibrations. You do those calibrations. Send me pics after. Alright, who else is there here? Guess I guess we can talk to good old Grunty. Shepherd. Uh just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the what are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? Don't wear yourself out on someone else's memories. We've got our own bad guys to fight. Your enemies are my enemies. We'll shove the Collector's Claws where a dark sun can't shine. And they will deserve it. I won't disrespect their strengths by doing less than the worst to them. That's the kind of thinking that will save a galaxy. You make it possible, Shepard. You're my battle master. You give me purpose. That's what makes Krogan feared soldiers and not animals. Lead well, Shepard. You have my respect. All right. So, Kenneth, did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. 
Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. All right. Well, let's do this one. Hey. Tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? Because that's how this works. My ship, my rules. Got it. Just another boss man wanting to get into my head. I know the drill. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. You're a hard person to like, Jack. Really? I had no idea. What other amazing insights do you have that I'm too stupid to see? You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. <sighs> right. They helped me into their bed. And when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading. And I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. They sound like selfish pricks. That doesn't mean they were gonna kill you. I get feelings. I don't need proof. I did the smart thing. I always do the smart thing if people fuck with me. That's probably something you should remember. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. If you let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. Seems like you miss it a little more than you want to admit. Pick every little word apart if you want, but it doesn't change the way the galaxy works. Come on, you've been around. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? I have to go, but we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? Are you eyeing me up? Because if this is just about sex, maybe you should just fucking say so. I'd be lying if I said no. You're different. Figured. People always want something. Well, what? Right now, then? All right, Jack. I like how you move. I bet you do. Come here. Well, the escalator cut it quickly. Hope that's not uh, cheating on uh, <laughs> fucking Liara. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. Shepard, we talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings. I should but go. I don't... Whatever. <laughs> uh, I, I wonder that will that what 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 that will do later. We'll, we'll see. Alright, let's go do something actually fun. Also, we fucked with clothes on. The fuck? Not what I anticipated at all. Lyra was disappointing and so was Jack. Well, at least I was honest. And is that really, you know... Can you really say anything else? Alright, well, we got a bit of time, so... You're gonna disable the false signal, that sounds good. Ah, oh, fuck, we've done nothing here. God damn it. Whatever, I'll, do, I'll just do the signal first, next time we'll fucking do the, uh... other stuff. There's too many planets. Check all those tunnels for something. So we definitely have uh, some sort of STDs. I guarantee that. You know, one second. I actually hate that fucking face mask he has. 
Alright, good, good. He looks like Gordon Freeman now. Gordon Krogan. Alright, well, there's nothing here, so let's go. This should only take 10 minutes, right? All these side missions are always take that long. That's not the hammerhead. What? Why is there always some fucker who just like is outside? Oh look, he brought friends. Big surprise. I also missed. Not so big surprise. Fuck, am I missing or are they just like at full HP or whatever? I'm just surviving two shots. Alright, looks like uh, the heavy weapons person got up from their nap. Alright, I must be missing. It, it, it always has like one other person that comes out of there. Fuck, I want to go with here, I'll be good. That's how it only, only wants us to fight four at a time. Alright, that one I missed his head. Scanning for iridium. The shuttle just landed outside the southern entrance. Get out there and take Take them out now. And once again, concerns over employee safety. The Broadfield mining facility has been closed until further notice. Oh, there's a, a group here now. Going to cover. Looks like the commander isn't quite aware that we're here yet. Uh, looks like a commander came online. He was just rebooting, it was fine. Actually, wait, they're, they both fucking have shit weapons. You can go over there. Get in there. Right there, you magnificent Krogan bastard. Wait. Got the target. Got it. Yeah, I guess that does have pretty good accuracy. Except he's not very accurate. Sorry, come back to me. Yeah, let's go back to this guy. My problem solver. Alright, let's just go that way, so we're gonna go this way. You're like, you're like, you're a dumbass vigilante. Couldn't agree with that more. Go through the glass. I saw something about a closure notice, but it's not around.
All right, well, let's see what's over here. We've got a major haul coming in from that dig site, boys. Move all the unsorted cargo to the mines to make room. Oh, iridium. We need that. We can casually just carry around 400 of them. Whoever you are, you won't make it out of here alive. You know, I've fought at least 20 of these in this game so far. Oh no, two at once? Not really that much different, but okay. They've seen it. actually went down. The fuck? How did I get hit? Oh fuck, dude. They're one hit away, man. One hit away. I'm sad. Actually sad those things actually killed me for once. Yeah, that's not the weapon I want. I am Let's go to smack for now. There we go, simple. It's gonna blow. Actually, this thing was completely not in the right place. Oh, the box exploded. See, the thing is, it, it's it's other gun that I actually care about is on the other side. So all I do is this. Did you get down or what? Nah, nothing really. And that's how you use pathfinding, fellas. Alright, we have an issue. Alright, we got fucking serious issues. Fucking, dude, okay, it spawned like things coming right beside me, right when I fucking ended up. Dude, I thought we'd have to go to the next room, I was already done. Oh my god, it makes me fucking do this again. What a fucking piece of shit game, honestly. Fuck this shit. Dude. They really do anything. All right, let's stay here this time. Because they start fucking piling in from over there. What is this guy's plan? Some captain you turned out to be. Alright. What in the fuck? I can't say I really expected this. I mean, they actually did things correctly. They rushed me when they outnumbered me. Seriously? Fuck, I missed. I Trains have really weird hitboxes. Uh, yeah, you just didn't hear that, don't worry. His feelings are safe.
Alright, well, let's end this. Once and for all. I think that's all the time we get for today, fellas. Unless we have new messages at our terminal. Remember you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, yeah. Thank you from my daughter. Ah. And missile launch detected. Is that another mission that we have to do? Yeah, it is. Also, you know what? Let's see if anyone's dialogue has changed. Also, hopefully fucking Jack didn't uh, ruin everything else, but honestly, I don't really care either way. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. You know about Knights Errant and Samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. All right, we'll bang later, okay? I guess, uh, let's go find out if, uh... Okay, Mar Miranda couldn't know, right? Like, because Jack and Miranda are certainly not going to talk to each other unless Jack's going to break Miranda, a piece of shit. What can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress or just blowing off steam or... It's nothing. Look, Miranda, I just wanted to apologize for what happened before. Fuck! I think we should keep things professional. Yeah, I was thinking the same. The mission comes first. That's not what I meant. 
Thanks for coming by, Shepard. God damn it. Definitely have to load now. I didn't know I didn't know what she was talking about. I thought it, she was like talking about something else. Fuck. Whatever. Alright, alright. I reset it. I'm not saying that we'll bang, but I'm saying Commander, we want the option to bang. Do you have a minute, Miranda? I do. I suppose we should talk. I don't know what this is. If this is stress or just blowing off steam or I care about you, Miranda. And I think you care about me. This is no time for emotional entanglement. You and I know more about the Collectors than anyone. We know how unlikely it is that we're coming back alive. Oh, on the bed. What idiotic bunch of hormones thought that now was a great time for love? Damn, you're right. I don't know, I don't care. Who said anything about love? I'm just trying to get you into bed. <laughs> you ass. Come on, Miranda. You want this. Yeah. I do. So don't die. You promised me, damn it. I died once already. I don't plan to do it again. Give me some time. When I'm ready, I'll come by, okay? Cool. See? Options. Commander. You Walker. have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. Oh, I'm definitely interested. Glad to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. Alright, so... How weird would it be to have Jack, Miranda, and me... in the same room? Hmm. Just, just food for thought, guys. Just food for thought. All right, not a, not a romance, uh, grunt now. All right, need you to battle Shepard. something. It's called my dick. Just checking in. How you doing, Battlemaster? I have everything: clan, kin, and enemies to fight. Just checking in. How you doing, Battlemaster? I yeah, have that's uh, that's as new. I have nothing else to tell you. Line. All right, I, I want to see how this uh, relationship evolved down here. Even though we're like forty fucking minutes or something, we bang again. Hey, what's happening, Shepard? We talked enough. You're just pissing around. No hard feelings, but I don't want to play. <laughs> I should go. Whatever. <laughs> She's bad. That's fucking great. We did some shit like we just dry humped, and that was it. Like the fuck. Alright, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you next time for plants getting another bullshit to bite.